Well, the big day has come now. We've got a graduating class of tadpoles. They've grown into little baby frogs now, and it's time for me to get them out there in my aquaponics area and let them become defenders of my garden. Look at them. Y'all tell me. Y'all tell me that this ain't fun. If you love nature like I do, this has been a lot of fun. I've learned something, even as one of them getting olderish old mans. <laughs> to give y'all a quick look at my mulberries, they're green right now. They'll be ripe soon. Um, they're not as big as they're going to get. And Faith and Hope Family Farm, or Hope and Faith Family Farm, just did a video and showed his. And uh, he was wondering about how big they get. Well, these are notoriously hard for me to get on film. But these don't get huge. Okay, they don't. These are native red mulberry trees. And they'll get a little bit bigger than this. Uh, it's hard for me to keep them in focus sometimes. But, um, you know, you can get some of them that, you know, get get really big but those are different varieties i like to grow the native ones because they're actually losing um out they're losing their home range here in america by being bred out by these other introduced species but what this tree may, lacks in big fruit it makes up for in beast fruit red mulberry tree is going to be one of your most powerful trees you can have on your property and the leaves are edible too by humans and by animals they give you a lot of fruit and you can make new trees from these so easily so i hope that gives you a little bit of look at uh you know how big these are not huge they'll get a little bigger now what you're seeing here is a beautiful flag iris blossom Look at that. Now, what you're not seeing here, or what you're also seeing here is something not beautiful. My aquaponic system left to its own devices. But look at this stand of irises. These are um, pretty much six foot tall. I, well, they're about, uh, they're about five foot tall from the bottom of the, the bucket. Now, we don't normally like to show all the nasty places, and I'm certainly not going to do that. I'm, <laughs> I've got to get in here with this, and I keep saying that and clean it up. I'm a little behind on things, but there's some treasures right up under there. I saw, I saw a frog. See him right there? Right in the middle of your camera right now. Little frog head sticking up under there. And look what else I see. See that? That's the strawberry. That's strawberries from my from last season that I had in here. And they're doing well, quite well. Now I want you to understand something. I haven't okay. I hope none of nobody's puked yet. I haven't done anything to this aquaponic system since last year. This is a naturalized system. This pond is all natural. Look what it's given me. Don't see any slugs on there. That right there has got a little something. We're going we're gonna to blow on it. Mm. Have ourselves a snack. And uh, that's got a few seeds on it. I'll throw it out and grow some more. That's the thing about natural foods. They reproduce from their own kind. I don't see the frog anymore. We got too close. But <sighs> what you're seeing right there is a mess of uh, lemon balm. But I want you to look what it's growing in. Some of it is growing in that sausage little idea I had 
to fill a sock with soil and grow in it. Lemon balm and many kind of mints are powerful living creatures. They want to grow everywhere. And some of it is growing right up out of that. I can't get in there real good, but it's busting right up out of that old sock. There's a lot of ways to get creative and bring your creative ideas um, along in the natural world and, and marry them together in a way that's beneficial to you and nature. And you can, you can certainly have something that looks way better than this. I ain't going to worry about it. Um, this is kind of like off-season stuff. And my aquaponic system is a test area. Um, <laughs> pretty busy right now. I can't get to everything that I need to do. But uh, I'll, I'll have this cranking up before long. Um, <laughs> I swear to myself I will. But for right now, it's an amazing naturalized pond where Mother Nature can give me many frogs every year. Lots of little frogs. And uh, they're going to help out in the garden. But I did want to show you that. And, you know, we've, we've got a winter time here. And this stuff has just been rocking along. They're almost like wild plant beasts. That's how tough they are. You know, strawberries have been sitting out here. There's several more plants back over there. All year, all winter, nothing done to them. It's a system that's in balance. And when you're doing aquaponics, that's what you want. The stuff that you're growing on top of the water, or even in the water that's edible, whatever you're doing, to be in harmony with the animals that are beneath it. Anyhow, this is a little bit long for what I wanted to show you, but those irises are beautiful. That strawberry is beautiful. And uh, like little treasures. Um, in the, in the trash. <laughs> well, <laughs> the aquaponics test facility, otherwise known as Dagobah, looks a little scarier now. But it makes a perfect time to release the amphibious assault. Look here. We have the recently graduated class of tadpoles, southern leopard frogs, all ready to go looking for some food. We've got them in their amphibious assault vehicle, the AAV. <laughs> and Wilson uh, has decided that he had to get a close up on the action. Now, Wilson, do watch what you're doing there. The last time I had to fish you out of the bottom of this. So you mind your step. Keep your balance, lad. <laughs> now I'll tell you, as I said earlier, this is a, it's a mess. You should have seen it uh, last last year, last last year, two last years ago. Um, it was very nice, very nice. It's also brand new. <laughs> if you want to see a fantastic aquaponic system in operation. Check out Jandera. She's down in Australia. And she has a very impressive bank of knowledge in aquaponics. And has a wonderful system there. And a forest of celery growing out of it. Good luck to anybody going up against her in the longest celery competition. Hers is more like timber. <laughs> Now, let's see what we've got here. Look at them. They're so pretty. But they are ready. Ready to be frogs. Or ready to be, have the adult world, right? Oh, good luck to them. Do you see that? You see the little lines up under his, let's see. Well, I can't see it here. I'll show you on another one. There's a little pocket where their front legs develop. Okay, you're seeing it for the first time. Frogs raised as tadpoles inside me house. We're going to dump them out here. 
Escape now. Look. Find your freedom, lads. Yes. Okay, find them a little faster. My battery's drawing, going away. Look. Find your freedom. <laughs> find it. You're free. Fly. <laughs> Go. 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 I'm going to dump you out. That's not gentle. <laughs> it's not gentle. Come on. Look. They say, no, glass is our natural habitat. We want to be in glass. Well, I don't want you to be in glass anymore, lads. I want you out here under the cover of darkness. There we go. Blop, blop. And then the other two twins look at you. <laughs> Get out of the assault vehicle. Must give you a little, little, a little liquid plumber to get you unstuck. <laughs> oh, are you still in there? No, you're still in there. Okay, liquid plumber. We flush you out. There's one. That's that one. Doesn't want to go. Oh, well, we've already had one. There we go. Unceremoniously or not. Oh, look, there we go. Look at that little spider. <laughs> you better run, spider. <laughs> Let's see. Set the jar down. Okay, help me get them. Help me get them on their way. We'll sneak up on this one's butt. My, <laughs> well, I'll have to use my finger. All right, hop for your freedom. Go. Go. Okay, it's nighttime. It's nighttime and they're not worried. Okay, let's say goodbye to everybody. Y'all be good. <laughs> and we'll see you next time.